I have a little story for you. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're looking at celebrities who made written or vocal statements about Bill Cosby prior to the expansive media coverage of the scandal. This is not greed. This is a day of reckoning. This is not greed. This is accountability. Wendy Williams. Well, known far and wide for the Wendy Williams show, Williams was once a prominent shock DJ. She found work on WRKS and hosted a segment called Dish the Dirt, in which she would gossip about celebrities. Once upon a time, I worked at a radio station here in New York called 98.7 KISS. One of her targets was Bill Cosby. The National Enquirer had published a not-so-nice story about Cosby, and Williams discussed the allegations on air. So I dust the article off, and I talk about it in my Dish the Dirt segment, you know, with the Wake Up Club. Cosby got wind of the segment and reportedly phoned the station himself, demanding that Williams be fired. This was all the way back in 1990, a good 25 years before the scandal toppled the famous comedian. Cosby's on the speakerphone. Cosby dressed me down and called me everything but a daughter of God. Now, that's my own personal account with these allegations. Unfortunately, Williams' warnings were not heeded. She wasn't fired, but the intervention from Cosby was enough to kill the story in its tracks. Charlotte Laws. You may know this celebrity by her stage name, Missy Laws. Laws has many different jobs, but her most prominent work was with BBC News, where she acted as a contributor. He said, I really believe that a lot of his words were taken out of context. And he has what I call a cowboy mouth. So he says things, it just kind of blurts it out. She also worked with KNBC TV, serving as a weekly commentator on their program, The Filter with Fred Rogan. In November of 2014, Laws wrote an article for Salon titled, Bill Cosby and Drugging, My 34-Year-Old Secrets. I didn't even think about coming forward until 2005 because I didn't think there was anything to come forward about. In the article, Laws claims that Cosby drugged her friend back in 1981. This piece was widely read and landed Laws on shows like Dr. Drew and Fox News. In the latter interview, Laws suggested that Cosby has somnophilia, or a sexual attraction to unconscious people. Laws thinks Cosby could be a somnophiliac. Victoria Valentino. In September of 1963, aspiring actress Victoria Valentino was named the Playboy Playmate of the Month. Six years later, she was allegedly assaulted by Bill Cosby, who had recently released his album, To Russell, My Brother, Whom I Slept With. It's very difficult for me to talk about what he did. According to Valentino, Cosby took her and a friend out to a dinner and gave them each a pill. And so he uh, gave me a pill a capsule, actually, I think it was, a red capsule. It said, here, take this, you'll feel better. He then took the drugged women to his house and engaged in acts of sexual assault. Valentino reportedly told this story in a 1996 expose on Playboy models, but the interview was never published. Valentino sued Cosby in 2023 after California abolished the statute of limitations for sexual abuse. After all these years, finally the law has changed and allowed us a one-year window in which we can seek tangible justice. Joan Tarshish. Before finding work as a journalist, Joan Tarshish was an aspiring actress and comedy writer working in Hollywood. She met Bill Cosby in 1969, the same year that he allegedly assaulted Victoria Valentino. And I felt a lot of shame. I felt a lot of guilt. I felt a lot of shoulds. I should have known there was something wrong with this man. I should have felt something was off with him. Cosby abused Tarshish on two separate occasions, once at his personal bungalow and again in a New York City hotel. I didn't tell anybody about this. I didn't want to tell my parents. About 10 years later, Tarshish approached a freelance reporter named John Millward and told him about the sexual assaults that she had experienced at the hands of Cosby. However, Millward decided against publishing the story, and Tarshish's experience went unheard. And now I'm glad that that other people will understand what he's like, what some of us have known for years, for decades. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. 
If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Hannibal Burris. Well, someone had to open the floodgates, and that someone was comedian Hannibal Burris. Comedian Hannibal Burris says something that goes viral. I can talk down to you because I had a successful sitcom. As we've learned, Bill Cosby's history of sexual abuse was an open Hollywood secret, with reports even making it as far as the National Enquirer. But nothing was done about it until Burris joked about Cosby's skeevy past during a stand-up routine in Philadelphia. I would, uh be forced to talk about it in situations I didn't want to. And also right. it came out the the joke uh and that video came out right before we were starting the rollout for my Comedy Central TV show. The resulting media attention turned the cultural spotlight on the Cosby's history of sexual assault and kickstarted his eventual downfall. It was this energy around it where if I was gonna do press around that time they were definitely gonna it also encouraged many other celebrities to come forth with their own unfortunate stories including janice dickinson louisa moritz and michelle hurd did you enjoy this video check out these other clips from watch mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos